Despite his best efforts to calm his girlfriend down, Yesenia just could not calm down. But she did tell her boyfriend that she's not about to back down. She's gonna go through with this. Yesenia Gomez told her boyfriend that she wanted to go bungee jumping. And so her boyfriend, when he heard how serious she was, he capitalized on the opportunity because he had never bungee jumped before and he really wanted to, but he couldn't without his girlfriend. And so now it seemed like she was serious. And so right away, he called the Amaga Bungee Jumping Company to book a slot for he and Yesenia to jump off of their bridge. Just outside of the popular tourist town of Amaga in northern Colombia lies this thick green jungle. And if you know where to look, there is actually a walking path that leads you from Amaga deep into this jungle. And if you keep going, it will bring you all the way to this terrible terrifying, enormous old railroad bridge that spans this huge ravine. Now, this bridge is no longer used by trains. It's been decommissioned. However, since it's decommissioning, there's actually been, ironically, more traffic on this bridge, although it is the foot traffic variety. People come out to this bridge to go bungee jumping. So on the day they were supposed to jump, which was Sunday, July 18th, Yesenia and her boyfriend hopped in their car and they drove an hour south to Amaga. And when they got there, they found the walking trail and they made their way out to this bridge and when they get out to this bridge they are amazed at the number of people who were already in line on this bridge waiting to jump off of it they knew this was a popular spot but perhaps they didn't realize just how popular it was and so Yasinia and her boyfriend they get in line behind the nearly 100 other jumpers ahead of them and they proceed to wait and over the next several hours, Yesenia and her boyfriend would have front row seats to all of the jumpers ahead of them jumping off the bridge. Now, it seems like Yesenia, in her mind, believed she would arrive at this bridge and very quickly she and her boyfriend would leap off and it would be great and so much fun. But now they've been forced to wait for a really long time. And this whole time, they're watching other people jump. And Yesenia is starting to panic. Suddenly, bungee jumping looked terrifying. It did not look like something she wanted to do. And so she was beginning to second guess her decision. And so her boyfriend, he's trying to calm her down and he's telling her, oh, it's totally safe. Look at all these people who have jumped. They're all fine. They're all smiling. They're so happy. You're going to be so proud of yourself. But despite his best efforts to calm his girlfriend down, Yesenia just could not calm down. But she did tell her boyfriend that she's not about to back down. She's going to go through with this. And so several hours went by of this totally high stress anxious waiting period. And then finally, Yesenia and her boyfriend reached the front of the line, at which point the staff members who've been doing this all day long, they signal the two to step forward and get their harnesses on. And so Yesenia and her boyfriend, they make their way to the edge of the platform. So they're looking out over this ravine and the staff members are putting on their harnesses and getting them ready. And the whole time, Yesenia, she's starting to get tunnel vision. Her heart is racing. She's totally panicked. She doesn't think this is fun at all. She just wants to get this over with. And then at some point, Point, one of the staff members finally says, okay, jump. And so Yesenia jumps. Except it would turn out Yesenia had made a mistake. That staff member who had said, okay, jump, was talking to her boyfriend, not Yesenia. However, Yesenia, in her totally panicked state, had just not understood and had leapt, believing they were telling her to jump. However, the staff members had only put her harness on. They had not attached the actual elastic rope to her ankles. And so when Yesenia jumped, there was nothing stopping her from smashing into the ground. And so as soon as she leapt off the bridge, her boyfriend ripped off all of his gear and he ran down the bridge. He leapt over the railing and he ran down the hillside all the way to the bottom of this ravine. But when he finally got to his girlfriend, it was already too late. She was already gone. It would later be determined Yesenia did not die from impacting the ground. She actually died from a heart attack she suffered on the fall down, which means she must have realized after she jumped that she jumped too early, that she did not have the bungee cord attached to her legs. And so literally the fear of what was about to happen to her killed her. Just know that I really appreciate your support. And until next time, that's going to do it. See ya.